kind of go. All right, so it is the second day of our trip. It's Saturday, uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, and we are just on the road leaving Geneva after our late start. We're on to Adelboden. I don't think we're gonna make any stops along the way since we got off to such a late start. So we'll just take in the scenery and see everybody when we get there. Road snacks are important. We got some cheese, olives, salami, big bag of pistachios. Not a napkin to be found. Champagne. <laughs> right. Things are so good. Wait, I hear a little. Stopping for a bathroom break. Cheese. I like this one here. Yes? Oh, it has the hand. This one as well, or maybe this one. I'll take avocado. the bufalino, the first one This hotel was so cozy, probably one of my favorite that we've ever stayed. It's also a Marriott property, so we were lucky enough to get upgraded as Titanium members. I mean, seriously, just look at that view. There's the pool. We're gonna hit up, hit up the spa today after we check out. Operation man? No, it's automatic. Bowden to go to Blouse Lake, but it seems as though you can only go via pain to walk through the nature park. And we're not really feeling like walking through a nature park, so we're gonna skip Blouse Lake and we're gonna make our way on to Chamonix with a few stops in Italy along the way. That's cool. I guess it takes us through the mountains, a tunnel or something. That's why all that train like had car ramps on it. We're coming up on the engine, the rear engine, and you literally just get in line, drive on the ramp, which is part of the train, and then you keep going until you find a spot. We're about to board the train. Please mind the gap. You know me, I'm gonna get out of the car. 
kind of a surreal feeling like your car's moving but you're not I was like oh <laughs> Choo -choo. There's no shock absorbers on this train. They're stunning rock faces. And every now and then there's like a pipe that goes through for like water. And... All right, we're in the tunnel. We're going to sail up the window here. So it is a single bore, uh, double track, so a train can come on the other side. Uh, and I guess we're in here for nine miles. So we're going to pause temporarily. Oh, here's an incoming, oncoming tunnel. Here we go, train. Oh, there's another car train, folks. Let's wave to the cars on the other side. Folks, we're exiting the train. Flaps down. Welcome to Lachendal. But UNESCO protected site. A little thing here. I guess we gotta get out to do yeah. customs. Do we both have to go in? I don't know. I thought they would have come out, but. Oh. So maybe we don't have to go in. Hello? Oh. He's good. We just got the good old wave. Just head right into Italy. So we had to pay another 27 francs. francs. This time to take a six kilometer tunnel. To take a six kilometer tunnel. To enter Italy. To enter Italy. It's becoming an expensive pizza. <laughs> we really are just going to Italy for pizza. There's some nice Italian streets here. Gotta love Italy for their small streets. Cobblestone here. Okay, so we just got to Koya Mayor. And unfortunately, our favorite pizza place in the entire world was closed today for some reason. So we came to a different restaurant, TBD on how the food will be, but we got our pizza. So we'll see how it goes. But we can't stay where we stayed already. Bimo thinks it's very good. <laughs> the salami is really good. Cheers. So after a successful stop in Italy, we are leaving Coya Mer and headed to Chamonix in France via the Mont Blanc Tunnel. <coughs> One of the most famous tunnels in the world. Another shout out to our Greek restaurant. La Palude. La Palude Ristorante. Pizzeria and Bar. Very good pizza, but an epic panna cotta. Probably one of the best that Buell has ever had. And for Buell to say that a dessert was the best that he's ever had says a lot. Mm -hmm. To Francia. All right, and just as an FYI, the toll for the Mont Blanc Tunnel is 48 euro. We're entering the Mont Blanc Tunnel, 10 kilometers long, and it is one of the longest and best tunnels in Europe. the first one but we're at 3,842 meters the highest point accessible on Mont Blanc by us at four o'clock sunny got some great uh, paragliders out
it is about 6.15 a.m. on Wednesday the 12th. We are headed out of Chamonix today and we're gonna drive to Geneva and take a flight out to London. It's also my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Hello. Just touched down in London town. Actually, we did not just touch down. We touched down many hours ago, but needless to say, it has been a long day. Our flight was delayed almost four hours. Um, we left Chamonix this morning at 6.30 a.m. So, and it is currently a five o'clock in London. So it's been a long day, but just got myself refreshed, got myself ready to go for the evening. Bimal and I are gonna have a sushi dinner to celebrate my birthday tonight at apparently one of the hottest places in London currently called Maru. Um, we are staying at another Marriott hotel. He is. Uh, he's not going on. terminal at Heathrow and Bimal had what he called himself a senior moment. We went to terminal five thinking that he just had in his head that we are flying British Airways back to New Jersey. And spending a few hours in the first class lounge but nope. But he failed to remember that he booked us a United Airlines not a British Airways ticket. So now we have to take the train from T5 to T3. Which if any of you have been here know that it's about 15-20 minutes and then a nice long walk. So less lounge time. Less lounge time, which story of our lives. See it. See it. Wave. Why are you waving? 